Today we're gonna to be adding a circuit to an existing panel. If you're not comfortable doing this, you probably shouldn't be doing this. We're just gonna turn off this main to the entire property, but there's still power coming into this panel. Right here is what I was talking about earlier. Those are always gonna be live. We can go ahead and drop in our cable clamp. Anchor the cable within 12 inches. You don't wanna crush the conductors. Keep at least a quarter inch of sheathing exposed. This is a really handy uh, wire stripper. Reach in there on the 12-2 setting. Pull that outer jacket right off. Deal with your ground wires first. The neutrals and the grounds can land anywhere on the neutral bar. We can just clip that off, get that good and snug. Typically, we would be attaching the neutral wire to the neutral bus, but in this case, this is both arc fault and ground fault. The neutral wire, it's actually gonna land on this breaker, and then we'll run the pigtail of this breaker to the neutral bar. So this is what that dual function breaker looks like. Put a screwdriver in it, pull on it. We'll start by feeding our neutral wire up in the very back. So we've got the neutral wire in position here. The gold screw, that is for the hot wire and the one right behind it is silver. That one is where our neutral is gonna go. Torque these connections down to 36 inch pounds. We can snap the breaker back into position. Give those connections a little tug, make sure that they're not loose. Now we'll take our panel cover and open up the new slot and put the panel cover back in place. It comes tripped from the factory like that and then turn it back on again. If you don't have any issues, it will stay on. Press this test button once. That shows us that the functionality is working. In the meantime though, let's plug this thing in and make sure that there is actually power there. Looks like it's working. 